Good day everyone, my name is Mahilan and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am in Flinders Chase National Park of Kangaroo Island, South Australia and we are going to go to a couple of places in this video. The first one is a lighthouse called Cape Du Caudic Lighthouse. You can see the name on the board behind me. And the next one is heaps of rocks called Remarkable Rocks which have been formed by weathering from erosive forces of wind, sea spray and rain over 500 million years. These two places are absolutely stunning and this video will be definitely a visual treat for all of us. If you guys are new to this channel, please consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon and without further delay, let's keep moving. Alright guys, we are just near the Cape Du Caudig Lighthouse and we will be there by a couple of minutes. It feels really good to walk here in this weather and you can see the lighthouse right there. That's where we are going now. Alright guys, we are near to the lighthouse and there are already few people in this place. Let's go inside and have a look. Guys, you can see a different kind of shrubs growing in this region. They add more beauty to this place, isn't it? Guys, you can see some details about this place and about Admiral's Arch on this board. Admiral's Arch is the most beautiful place in Kangaroo Island and there is a separate video about that place in our channel. I will leave the link in the description below and you guys can check that out. Wow guys, this is that Cape Du Caudic Lighthouse guys. It looks very tidy, beautiful and historical. This is an information board carrying details about the lighthouse guys. It was named after a French naval officer Charles Louis du Caudic. It was constructed between 1907 to 1909 and was the 15th to be built in South Australian coast. This was the lighthouse gave directions to all the ships and boats came to the south coast of Kangaroo Island. You can also find more information below. This beautiful lighthouse was built by concrete blocks and in pale yellow color and the door and the windows are painted in white color which adds more beauty to the structure. Alright guys, now we have had a look at this lighthouse. Next we are going to visit the remarkable rocks which are the granite rocks formed by weathering over 500 million years.
Okay guys, we have come to the place where the remarkable rocks are. Now we need to walk a fair bit of distance from here. Let's go now. You guys can see these kind of small shrubs all over in Kangaroo Island and through these shrubs there is a beautiful gravel path which lead us to the remarkable rocks. You guys can have a look at the remarkable rocks in the far from here. Let's keep going. This place is well maintained and really beautiful guys and the weather today is very pleasant. You can see few information about these remarkable rocks on this information board guys. You can see the beautiful blue ocean on that side and the mountain ranges are also present along the beach. Now we are walking towards the remarkable rocks enjoying this outstanding view. Guys, you can see some burnt trees here. All these have been burnt because of the bushfire occurred in 2020 and still they are regrowing. As I said before guys, you can see a notice board clearly saying this is a regeneration area and we shouldn't walk across the plants regrowing zone. We should always keep going on the allocated tracks. Here you can see another information board saying few more information about these remarkable rocks. These rocks have been weathered by rain, wind and sea sprays over 500 million years and formed as granite rocks. They are still undergoing weathering and their value is getting increased with time. These rocks can also be dangerous guys, 
they are very steepy and we may end up falling into the deep ocean if we are not careful. So we should be careful when we are traveling to the edges. Alright guys, at last we are here at the bottom of the rocks. Let's climb over and have a look at the rocks. Have a look at the surface of the rocks guys. They are weathered, black and you can say they are granite rocks by looking at them. When it rains over these rocks, the rainwater used to run down through some channels and there are channels formed over the rocks by rainwater traveling on the same path again and again. You can have a closer look at them now. See how many channels are here. When you see this side, you can see the no access zone. People shouldn't go beyond this point as it is too risky. As you see guys, on the top of the rocks, there is a yellowish layer. These rocks are still undergoing weathering by the natural forces. Look at the rock right there guys. That looks very huge. You can see a lot of different kind of rocks here guys. They are big rocks, small rocks, and some rocks are in different shapes. Look at that rock right there. That one looks like a face of a pig. That's my imagination, guys. You can visualize or imagine something else. We can also walk among these rocks and have a look at each of them. This place should be in your bucket list if you guys are traveling to Kangaroo Island. Definitely an amazing place to visit guys. This rock here has been eroded a lot inside. We can go inside and have a look inside. This place is just amazing as it is guys. Heaps of granite rocks formed by weathering along the beach side. Alright guys, it was a pleasure coming to this place to visit this amazing structure formed by the nature over millions of years. I hope you guys would have enjoyed this video and if you guys like this video, leave a thumbs up on this video. Please consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. I will see you all in another beautiful episode. Till then, thanks for watching, cheers and take care.